The ball is in the Reserve Bank's court and it's just taken another shot at bringing down inflation. Manveer Singh thinks his family can withstand one or two more rate hikes. Anything beyond that, it'll be very difficult uh, to manage because uh, uh, having to be on a variable interest rate. The rising cost of paying the half a million dollar mortgage on their home in Perth means other things like sports and subscriptions are on the chopping block. Keep some money for the rainy days. Should the increase of interest rate is going up and up, at least we need to have some uh, backup. The Reserve Bank delivered another quarter of a percentage point hike to take the cash rate to 4.1%. That's the highest since April 2012. I think the inflation pressures and risks are just too great. The risk is it is sticky and elevated. That runs the risk of feeding into higher inflationary expectations and becoming embedded. The Reserve Bank also remains concerned about wages, saying growth in public sector wages is expected to pick up further, and the annual increase in award wages was higher than it was last year. Five and three quarter percent increase in wages without a productivity offset is not consistent with the inflation targets. People on low and middle incomes are already bearing the brunt uh, of these interest rate rises. They shouldn't bear the blame as well. If lenders pass on the rate hike in full, homeowners with a $750,000 mortgage and 25 years left on the loan will see their repayments rise by $114 a month, which means they're now paying $1,700 more than they were before the RBA started increasing rates just over a year ago. For the second month running, the Reserve Bank has highlighted the unexpected recovery in the housing market as a cause for concern. On the other hand, it's acknowledged the painful squeeze on homeowners, battling rising costs and higher interest rates, and the impact that's having on household spending. The RBA is gunning for uh, weaker house prices. It's part of the transmission mechanism uh, to slow the economy, to slow consumer spending amongst those without high levels of debt. Economist David Bassanese now expects at least one more rate hike to come. He puts the chance of a recession at almost 50-50. It's going to be very heavy flogging for the economy because the RBA does mean business. One of the challenges here is that uh, we've got a, a, a very divided household sector. It's a big responsibility grading carrot. Yeah. It's already a slog for those with newer mortgages, like the Edwards family who bought in Sydney's outer suburbs last year. Good boy. Yeah. That's life. We we'll have to do it. It'd just be really nice if, if, the, on, if the community on average contributed rather than the disproportionate impact of these uh, interest rate rises on mortgage holders. They're cutting back where they can, but the cost of essentials is still high. I think they're saying inflation is going to keep affecting us until well into um, late 2024, early 2025. And, you know, if, if their only way of fixing that is through interest rate rises, that doesn't leave me feeling very confident about the future. With bets now for another rate hike in July, the future is looking more expensive.